Thimphu is one of the most beautiful capital cities in the world. In spite of its many cars, houses, shops and people, it appears calm and peaceful. The zone looks beautiful. The river looks playful. And the people look happy. But not everyone is happy, especially not here at the National Referral Hospital, where human lives are lost in one building and born in another. Among the many patients suffering from this or that disease over here are a sizable number diagnosed as being ill from diarrheal diseases such as dysentery and respiratory diseases such as pneumonia and infections of the skin, eye and intestines. Well, recent studies suggest that half of these people need not have been here if they had remembered to do just one simple thing correctly. Wash their hands using not just water, but more importantly, soap. Yes, a review of more than 30 studies suggests that washing your hands with soap reduces your chances of getting diarrheal diseases by as much as 50%. Diarrheal diseases are the second most common cause of death in children under the age of 5. These diseases are excreta-related, as the pathogens, bacteria or virus that cause them come from 1F, faces. The pathogens can be transferred through four other Fs, fingers, fluids from the body such as spit and sputum, flies and fields or floors. From these, the pathogens can be transferred to another F, food. It is through this contaminated food or water that one becomes a host for the pathogens and suffers diarrheal diseases. Washing one's hands is the single most effective way of reducing one's diarrheal morbidity or one's chances of contracting a diarrheal disease, as this next graph indicates. The practice of treating water at its source is a healthy one, but it reduces your chances of getting a diarrheal disease by only 11%. The mere act of supplying or having water in your home reduces your chances of getting a diarrheal disease by 25%. Hygiene education accounts for a 28% reduction in diarrheal morbidity. Sanitation or cleaning accounts for a 32% reduction. Treating the water you use at its point of use, that is, in your home or workplace, reduces diarrheal morbidity by 39%. But there's nothing better than the simple act of washing your hands with soap because doing so reduces your chances of suffering a diarrheal disease by as much as 44%. What's more, it is not only the most effective way of keeping diarrheal diseases at bay, it is also the cheapest, far cheaper than any of the measures stated above. Think about it. How much does it cost to just scrub your hands with soap and wash it off? All across the globe, acute respiratory infections like pneumonia are the leading cause of child deaths. The pathogens that lead to such diseases are also found mostly on hands and surfaces of everyday objects. The most effective way of avoiding respiratory infections? Yes, you guessed it. Washing your hands. In fact, a recent study in Pakistan found that hand washing with soap reduced the number of pneumonia-related infections in children under the age of 5 
by more than 50 percent. Infection, particularly diarrheal disease and respiratory uh, infection, kill almost 4 million children in the developing countries. And 4 million means almost six times the population of our country. And half of the diarrheal disease, disease deaths and quarter of the deaths caused by respiratory infection could have been prevented if people used soap and water to wash our hands. So washing hands is a very important I mean, aspect uh, to prevent infection and particularly for children is very crucial. These are the uh, steps of hand washing. So it, is, it reminds us how the steps of this thing and we follow them religiously. So this, this is the, this thing particularly, I mean, uh, the place where we hand wash. And we make sure that everyone who enters this uh, unit washes their hand. Even the mothers, they have to wash their hand. They cannot touch the babies unless they have uh, washed their hand properly. So now come back, use this soap as well. It's okay, just water alone was fine. My hands look clean enough. They may look clean enough, but they are not clean enough. Here, listen, remember how I almost fear, failed last class because I got ill so often and missed so many classes. Yes, but what does that have to do with using soap? Everything. Now you know I love I loved playing with my baby sister and changing her diapers that well about the sixth time I I got sick Madam Dema visited my home and that's when she found out that I had not be, been using the soap to wash my hands after changing the baby's diapers or before eating. That's why I got sick. And that's why you almost failed. All right, I get it. Soap, soap, soap. Soap, soap, soap. Use that soap. Many cases of cold, flu, foot and waterborne diseases are spread by unclean hands. And this diseases results in lots of expenditure in healthcare. I am not an economist, but it doesn't take an economist's brain to work out the simple arithmetic. Because when people are sick, they can't go to work, which results in productivity loss to the country's economy. All this can be reduced or can be prevented. And as a doctor, I tell you that this infectious disease are the leading cause of death and illnesses worldwide. All this can be avoided or significantly reduced if only people adopt that simple practice of washing their hands with soap at the right time. We all should have the common sense to wash our hands at proper times. For example, like after using the bathroom, after petting your dogs or cats, after coughing and sneezing, uh, after changing your baby's diapers, and uh, after emptying your trash can, and like for example after cleaning your bathroom, and of course before eating your meals. There, you heard the good doctor explain when to wash one's hands. Let me remind you, you must wash your hands essentially when, one, before you take in anything through this end, two, after you take out through the other end what you took in through this end and three after handling anything dirty so we now know when to wash one's hands but know what there is a method to this madness as well yes there is a way to wash one's hands how well let me show you what the good doctor showed me
happy birthday. Yeah, have fun while you're in it. Have fun. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to two two two. You there. would we do without them? It is clear that our hands are invaluable to us. They are indispensable tools, without which human life would be quite unimaginable and extremely difficult. Our hands are tools that make our lives easier, more interactive, more purposeful. But unless taken care of, unless washed regularly, and properly, our hands can also ruin our lives. Remember, your health and the health of your loved ones is in your hands. Your hands. If you promise to remember that always, give me five. Mm -mm. Have you washed your hands? <laughs>